Hi, I'm Amy Allen with Siemens PLM Software. In today's MX Quick Tip, I'm going to show you how to quickly generate a 2D layout using existing 3D geometry. First, we're going to open both files, a layout file and an assembly file. We'll start with the assembly file. We're going to quickly navigate through all of these components of the assembly. <clears throat> now let's swap over to the layout file. We're going to navigate to the Layout tab and select Create from 3D. In NX11, users can preview what they want to select. The preview window will come up as we navigate through the parts. We want to select the left pilot seat. Our output method is currently set on projection and we want to change that to section. We currently don't have any geometry selected on the X, Y, or Z plane, so there's nothing being sectioned, but if we did, that is what would show up. Now let's swap back to the projection view. Currently it's set to the right view, and we can start selecting some components. You can see how quickly NX translates the selected geometry to that particular 2D plane. Once that is done, we see our clearly defined right view. So let's go ahead and choose the top view. Now we'll choose the front view. The users can see these generate almost instantaneously. Once we determine the view that we want to display, we'll select OK and NX will take care of the rest. It's going to put the information into our layout file. Once that is done, we see we can select any location to place that view, so I'll go ahead and place that randomly. Now all the subcomponents of this pilot seat have been captured. If we really don't want all of that information and we just want one component group, we can highlight the entire thing or go to the part navigator and select each one of those components and smash it. Once that is done, we're left with one detailed component that contains all of the information. Now we can go into our 2D library and select the proper subfolder, which in this case is our Seats 2D component. We're going to right mouse click and select the defined 2D components to create those. Once that is done, we define the objects, select our anchor point, and we have successfully created a 2D layout from 3D geometry. And that concludes today's NX Quick Tip. Thank you.